lose the job. We're gonna destroy their whole nuclear program. Travis Simmel. Nice. Breaking news exposing the CIA's sabotage of Iran's nuclear reactor. Our cover's blown. We're leaving 15 minutes. Stretch and point. There's an old CIA base in Kandahar. I just want to go home, and I'll be with you. Typical action film. is not the main issue. It's what's in between. I didn't even catch my guys. I'll sell them to the highest bidder. No one is coming to rescue us. We have to get to Kandahar. Get down! Damn! What's with Jared Butler and all these action films recently? It's almost as if he's going back into the 90s to release all these action movies again. Um, yeah, Jared Butler is great. Um, if you remember here from his earliest work, uh, like 300, for example, which is directed by Zack Snyder, that was probably one of the most physical demanding roles he has done in terms of the way he looks. And I'm surprised from there on out, he didn't make more action movies. He started, you know, starring in a few rom-coms and... I guess some unconventional uh, genres, which I didn't expect him to be in, but he still nailed those roles anyway. Uh, like P.S. I Love You, for example, or The Ugly Truth, you know, films like that. And But when it comes to action movies, he can deliver, just like the recent movie uh, called Plane, which came out. And uh, it's a great movie. It's um, it's well done in terms of what it actually is. It's a action film, which gives you reminiscence of uh, the action culture from the 90s. And that's what I grew up watching. Um, I love watching the, uh, you know, um, action movies from the 90s starring Arnold, um, Sylvester Stallone, you know, Bruce Willis, all these, uh, um, all of these classic action stars. And I enjoyed it. And this is no different. Kandahar is basically CI operatives who basically um, uh, uncover a covert operation and they basically get, get um, exposed and they're on the run air to uh, Kandahar. The Travis FML, who is brilliant in Vikings, if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend it. Check it out on Amazon Prime. Either way, you got Jared Butler, you got Travis FML, and it does have a sort of like relaxed action film vibe. You don't expect too much of the story. Just, just imagine watching Jared Butler killing people and <laughs> having a blast, literally speaking. Um, if you haven't seen him in uh, Olympus Has Fallen, Angel Has Fallen, London Has Fallen, or um, or Plane, he's also great in Den of Thieves where he had to put a lot of muscle on. And the thing is, um, for some people, it feels a bit uh, of a ripoff from Heat with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. But the thing is, I like Den of Thieves. I didn't think it was too much of a bad movie. Yeah, I highly recommend you check those films out. They're just really good popcorn action movies, which I think he does really well in. Hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the reaction. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Are you a fan? Jared Butler, do you think his films are very cheaply made? Or do you think he needs to stop making action films for someone his age? And hopefully I can see you in my next video. <laughs>